Cybersecurity Awareness Before we begin, do not forget to like and subscribe this video by hitting the button below. In this video, we will discuss on how we can secure our account against possible compromise. First, use a strong password. A strong password can protect your online account, Wi-Fi password and social networking sites. Do not use any password with easy-to-find information, such as name of your loved ones, birth date, license plate number, and your favorites. They can be easily compromised. A strong password uses combination of upper and lower case, number and symbols. Use unique password for online accounts, Wi-Fi and social networking sites to secure finances, protect identity and make friends safe. Change your password regularly or frequently, 3 to 6 months to increase defenses. Second, make sure you are using two-factor authentication to increase security of your online account such as banking sites, Gmail, Apple ID and many more. Password alone can easily pass the authentication check, therefore, a second factor is needed such as SMS text, biometrics, security token or keys, security applications and security questions. However, attackers can break an authentication factor in the physical world. Hence, high security environments needs a more advanced form of multi-factor authentication, such three-factor authentication, which may includes physical token and a password used in conjunction with biometrics data, such as fingerprint scans or voice prints. When an extensive password breaches happen, and this happen a lot, credentials are often sold and swapped in online marketplaces and hacking forums. Third, we have to be familiar with malware. What is malware and its type? Malware is a contraction of malicious software. Malware includes computer viruses, worms, Trojan horses, rootkit, ransomware, spyware and other malicious programs. Malware can reach your computer in a variety of ways via infected websites, USB drive, email attachments or malicious URL or email or web pages. These malicious programs can perform a variety of different functions such as stealing, encrypting or deleting sensitive data, altering or hijacking core computing functions and monitoring users' computer activity without their permission. There are many types of infections such as viruses, worms, trojan, rootkit, ransomware and spyware. A computer virus is a piece of malicious code that hides while making copy of itself on your computer without your consent. A worm is a similar to virus, but can quickly spread over the internet independently. Both programs can perform harmful acts once they got into the system. A Trojan is a malware strand that is disguised as a normal or desirable software, to trick the user to install it onto their PC. It then perform malicious functions such as deleting files, granting remote access or perform keylogging. A keyloggers record what you type in order to glean usernames, passwords and other sensitive information. A rootkit is malware specifically designed to permit malware that gathers information, spyware, into your system. As with many malware forms, they are designed to remain hidden as they work. A ransomware is designed to infect a user's system and encrypt the data. Cybercriminals or hacker then demand a ransom payment from the victim in exchange for decrypting the system's data. Lastly, a spyware is made to collect information and data on the device user and observe their activity without their knowledge. Fourth, be cautious in using public Wi-Fi. Avoid connecting to networks you do not know. When connecting to public connections, avoid accessing online banking or financial transactions or submitting personal information. This is to have a secure online experience. Lastly, phishing is one of the oldest and most pervasive cybersecurity threats. It has been around since email was invented, and phishing attacks have evolved to evade even our most sophisticated cybersecurity defenses. That's why we are dedicating the last discussion in this video for the cybersecurity awareness and data privacy to this important topic. How it work? The targeted victim receives a phishing email with either a URL link or attachment purporting to be from a legitimate sender, such as a bank, business service provider or government institutions. This messages trick unsuspecting users into infecting malicious code or fool them into giving out personal or sensitive data such as login credentials and bank account information. To avoid this phishing attack, consider to check the following. Check the URL of link before clicking. Hover over the link without clicking until the real URL appear. If it looks suspicious, do not click on it, rather visit the website by googling it or typing into the address bar. You may call the hotline of the company or organization to verify the email or URL. Furthermore, do not open suspicious attachments. 
Keep out your personal information in email. Since email or any online conversation is considered not private, it is best not to send or store your sensitive data in email or any online platform. Hackers and cybercriminals often send fraudulent emails through phishing attacks, develop fraudulent websites and perform many other kinds of social engineering to steal a person's username and password. Some attackers break into accounts for fun, and some, for a living. Please always be reminded in securing your credentials and transactions.